you know, I lived with this story for a very long time. I wrote the first draft of the first episode of the show, you know, six years before we made the show. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd worked on other TV shows in the interim. But the truth of the matter is, um, uh, uh, there's no preparing for a show of this scale. And um, the fact that it is what it is is really a, a, um, exclusively about one thing, which is my partnership with Tommy. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, a year or two before this show um, was made, uh, we got together and we sat down and had a really fantastic meeting, a conversation that went on a lot longer than it probably was supposed to, and it's sort of been happening ever since. And, you know, Tommy is, um, is just, is, uh, he, he had a very specific and really brilliant um, set of insights about how to make this show producible and, and how to tell the story. And um, so uh, I've been the beneficiary of all of that uh, experience and wisdom. Well, I love the idea of helping him, but the truth <laughs> of it is he handed me this extraordinary gift. And uh, that, you know, it's like actors sometimes say it. They'll, they'll say they read something and the character just all of a sudden, they know, they know the next line. They know what that character is. And they, they, mm -hmm. that's sort of what I felt when I read it, you know. So to me, it was just <clears throat> how to make that partnership work. And, you know, look, if I can be helpful in anything, it's just not about putting the show together, about just nothing more than mm -hmm. the wisdom of where we're at right now, which seems like we'll never accomplish what we want, we will accomplish it. That's the only thing that I, I sort of have the advantage of is mm -hmm. sort of knowing the darkness of doing a show, mm -hmm. really the darkness of, of being at a moment where you go, all the problems that are bombarding us will never, ever get solved in the amount of time that we have. And shockingly, they get solved, and the show works. Well, that is, that's the greatest learning curve. And Tommy said at some point that there's always a moment in the season where you think as you're driving home, I might as well just keep driving because it's, it's never going to work. I mean, it's it's they're going to fold up the tents, et cetera. And, and that yeah. is part of the learning curve is that you, know, you sort of realize that life will go on. Yeah, there are a whole bunch of things that we've tried this year that are really exciting to us in the storytelling. There, we play with time, and you know, the episode that you saw um, is very different from any other episode we've done. It sort of takes place in this contained world and it's sort of this psychological thriller between two characters. And um, it was really, it's, it's been fun for us to, to approach structure in some different ways. Um, mm -hmm. There are also some episodes that move forward in time. You know, we have an episode that jumps forward six months and we sort of are thrown into the deep end and play catch up with our characters and see what's changed in their lives. And you know, it, it, that was a really fun challenge um, from a storytelling standpoint. Look, I think this is a show not about uh, World War II and about the end of the war. It's the origin story of the America that we live in right now. You know, this was the birth of the atomic age. Uh, it's a story that fortunately doesn't have an ending yet. Do you know? Uh, I would like to keep it that way. Uh, and I do think it so happens. I mean, this is it's a fascinating show in and of itself, but it so happens that there are an enormous amount of parallels that are going on in the world today that are exactly what this show is about. I think it's interesting. I think uh, we see a very, we begin to see a very different Charlie in season two, where he actually strengthens and hardens around the idea that this is the right thing to do. Um, uh, things like morality.